Welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm just going to talk about my, uh, well, relatively new Bosch 500 series washer and dryer. Um, the reason that I went with the Bosch stuff is because uh, these front load washer and dryers don't tend to last for very long, so I wanted to get the best that I could get, and Bosch is supposed to be the best, so we'll see. Um, I find that the front load washers, they only last like, you know, four years at, at the top. Um, so hopefully that'll last a little bit longer. Um, these were around $3,000 to get the pair. And yes, that's really expensive, but it's the newer technology because this is a ductless dryer. So it vents into your house, not outside. So what this particular model has is it has like a, a heat exchanger or a dehumidifier that's in it and there's actually a hose in the back of this this is the dryer when it dehumidifies the clothes it takes all the moisture out of it and it pumps it into your drain so there's a little tiny hose in the back of this and I'll show you that later anyway so it's a it's a pretty simple machine um, it's just regular front load washer and dryer features there's nothing really crazy about these these are the small ones. Um, they didn't have any larger ones um, that were ventless when I bought. So this is what I got. Now, I'll go over a little bit about the dryer. Um, basically, here, let's bring the camera closer. All right, so basically what happens is it sucks the air in through here. It goes out through the back. Well, it comes through here. It gets heated up and then it's exhausted through the back. So the benefit of having one of these is that you can put it pretty much anywhere in your house um, and you don't have to worry about running a, an exhaust line ductwork from to the outside. Um, so that was a, a, a big selling feature for me. Also, normally what you're doing with your heat from your dryers, you're just throwing it outside. So if you can capture that heat and keep it in your house, then you're not wasting electricity for nothing. So right now, if you have something like this, you're drying your clothes and heating your house at the same time. So that's an added benefit. Not so good in the summer, but you can also dry your clothes outside in the summer. Now, most of us are lazy and they'll just throw them in here, but that's not a, it's an option, right? Anyway, so it's just got the regular features. I'm not really gonna talk about the features because they're all pretty normal. Um, this door is reversible, so depending on your configuration, you can stack your washer and dryer together, or you can put them side by side, and you can reverse this door so that they open the same way, or they open apart so you can take the laundry from one to the other and not have it in the way. Now, uh, about the dryer, there is this lint trap, and this lint trap opens, and you can see all the lint in it and uh, it tends to and these holes up here it tends to get uh, clogged up relatively easily so you got to clean that out um, every once in a while and in here where it sits so all the way around these edges where it sits it collects dust in there so you have to clean that out you wipe it out and you have to get your vacuum in there and vacuum that out as well okay that's pretty important and then over here, let's put that, oh, another pr problem that, uh, it, actually I really like the dryer, I really say it's good. Um, you do have a problem with the bounce sheets getting stuck right here and not circulating in the dryer. So they get stuck right on this, so that's kind of a, a design downfall right there. But, you know, it's a small problem. Another thing about this is that Here's your heat exchanger, and this little flap opens up, and then there's these two things here. Let's move the camera a little bit closer again. So these two flaps, you open this up, and it gets pretty dirty in here, and you've got to clean this periodically. So we have a dog, so it gets all sorts of dog hair in there. Another thing is it gets wet. So right in here, that's part of the, the heat exchanger, right, and the dehumidifier, so that gets wet and dirty and uh, when you open it up it gets your floor wet so you don't want to put this anywhere where you can get your floor wet 
or at least put down a couple of towels or something before you open it up to clean it. Like I said, this one needs cleaned. So you pull that this part out first, and then you pull the secondary part out here, and you can see a lot more dog hair, and you can see it's almost like an air conditioning unit, the way it's got the fins and everything. So it blows the air through, and then it, uh, it takes the, uh, the moisture out, which is really neat. So like I said, it's uh, got to do a little bit of maintenance on it. Keep it clean. You got to clean out inside there. You can vacuum it out too and just wipe it all down so that's nice and clean. So that needs to be done. Now as for the washer, let's bring this down again. So the washing machine, it has all the normal sort of features. It has this pull out tray here. And then you have your pre-wash section, sorry. And then you have your fabric softener section. And then you have your uh, detergent section. And then it has just little marks on how high everything goes. Pretty simple. And down here, this little door here, you open that up. It's got a hose with a plug in it. Then it's got this little dial thing. And again, if you open that up, it gets, it'll get your floor wet, okay? But this is your clean out for your washing machine. So if you lose like some coins or, uh, you know, hairpins or something, it gets into the washer. This is the place where you take it out. It usually ends up down here. Um, so, so far I haven't had any issues with this. And I've had this for about six months. So the only issue that I do have with it is that when you open stuff like this up, it gets your floor wet. When you open this up, it gets your floor wet. Okay. So the dryer, when you start and stop something, so I pressed it and it didn't move or didn't beep until I pressed it again. So you press it and kind of hold it. And sometimes it does that. <laughs> so it double beeped, press it. There we go. So now it's running. So it's relatively quiet. I do like it so far, but the buttons are sort of a hassle to use. Sorry, the buttons are kind of a hassle to use and things get a little wet once you're cleaning it. So, so far we really like the product. It works really well. Um, we've had it for about six months. Um, we really haven't had any issues. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the buttons have no feel. So you press it and then it takes a while for the thing to kick in. So you don't know whether it's ready to go or not and you end up pressing it again and then it cancels it out and you're kind of cursing at yourself because you're, you know, you're expecting something that's electronic to work quickly, but it's slow. So you press it and it takes its time and then it goes, oh yeah, yes, I'm on, you know, anyway. And <laughs> then um, when you open it up to clean it, uh, you get water all over the floor. So that's two detractions. Um, uh, on the plus side, it also helps to heat your house in the winter. You're not throwing energy away because in a regular dryer, your, your heating energy that you're putting into drying your clothes gets thrown outside. This way, it's heating it and your air stays in your house. So you have the hot air from this, which will lower your heating bill. And like I said, it's, it's not wasted energy at that point. Um, the washing machine, once again, really good. The only problem is the buttons because there's no feel to them. And uh, the clean out, obviously you get everything wet. So you want to put a towel down or whatever. Um, the neat feature about this is that you can plug the washing machine into the dryer. So the dryer is a 220 volt and then you've got your washing machine that plugs into the dryer. So it's really convenient that way. You only have to run one outlet for it. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, nice and small. Um, this will be finished later on. We're working on the basement ever so slowly. 
and I'm going to leave a big vent up here so that when the air comes in it can the heat can come out from the top so uh, that way um, you don't uh, trap all the heat in behind so there is a bit of a concern when you're using something like this that there's going to be heat build up so it's not something that you can really build into a cabinet um, whereas the other dryer that's vented outside you can build it into a cabinet you don't have to worry about it so this has got a couple of different things that you have to think about then on the back of these I'm going to show you quickly at the back of these alright it's going to be kind of hard to see here but here's your plug okay and then this vent part here from the dryer so that's the plug from the washing machine that plugs into the dryer and then that goes into your wall like this and it's pretty uh, pretty quiet for a washer and a dryer it's quieter than most and then this vent here is where your heat comes out right up here and here's your dryer drain back in there and here's your washing machine uh, water inlets and the drain for that and then there's the small drain oh it's over here by by water softener small drain for the dryer and that's it pretty simple anyway thanks for watching I really appreciate it um, if you like any of the videos give it a thumbs up feel free to go through the rest of my uh, YouTube site and check out all the different videos I have a bunch of reviews I've got some car repair um, I've got some renovation stuff um, you know just general things that I do so anyway thanks for watching